Before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with sounds. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth, the strength of the hills is also. The sea is his and he made it, and his hands from the dry land. Let's lift our hands one more time. Can you say, Father, Father, I thank you for healing me. I thank you for divine help. Go ahead and thank God for divine help for yourself, for your family. God has kept you in good health up to this moment. You are not in the hospital and you are not running around for someone that's in the hospital. Just thank God. I appreciate him for healing. I appreciate him for healing. He's the God that he led us. He said, by his stripes, we are already healed. Father, we thank you. We thank you for healing. Say with me, Father. Father, I thank you for provision. I thank you for supplying my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Go ahead and appreciate it. For supplying our needs, for providing. We have been getting by each day. We do not even know how it's been happening. It's God that's behind it. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, King of all glory. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness. We say, have your way in this service this morning. Have your way, King of our glory, do that which only you can do. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, you were there.
Thank you this morning. We honor you bow before you. <coughs> we commit everything into your hands. Be that glorified. Be that exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. Be seated. God is able to do what he promised, what he pledged to do. Amen. Today is our Thanksgiving service of September 2020. Are you excited? I am. Yes. Yes. Because God has given you this day as a special day and you should rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We thank God for taking us through the month of September, month of August. Each day he gave to us we thank God for preserving us from coronavirus. The pandemic, they call it noise on pestilence. Noise everywhere is bypassing our family in Jesus' name. It's bypassing us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. We commit today's service into your hands. Be that glorified. Be that exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Today's topic is the limit breaker. 
continuing, we are going to run this throughout the month, the limit breaker. And, uh, and um, uh, the topics will be broken down as follows. We are going to teach Let me. Okay, I will mention it as we go. So finally, we are going to teach today. We are going to continue. And first of all, I have to define what a limit is. What's the definition of limit? The first definition is a limit is a point or level beyond which something does not or may not extend. A point, a crossroad beyond which something does not extend. You shall not be limited in Jesus' name. Amen. I say you shall not be limited in Jesus' name. Amen. Limit can also be described as a restriction in size. A restriction in amount of something permissible or possible. A restriction in size. A restriction in amount of something permissible or possible. The synonym of limit is restrict confine, circumscribe, limit. So we are going to deal with it and we are helping the Holy Spirit to help us expound that and empower us to be limit breakers in Jesus' name. Now, I, I want to open our eyes to the reality of human limitation. Yes, we are talking about limit breaker, but there are certain things you are limited, you cannot do. I want to mention that, let that one go off us as we go into what God has called us to do. The freedom. The, 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 enjoying the fullness of our potential within the limits that he has given to us. Number one limit you cannot do anything about is man cannot be self-existing. It's a limit. Man cannot be self-existing. Meaning Someone that does not need anybody or anything outside himself to survive. No, that's not for man. You don't have that quality. Number two, man is also limited in knowledge. There's no way you can know all things about the past or the future if it's not revealed to you. It's only God that has that knowledge. Even though the Holy Spirit told us in the book of John chapter 14, verse 26, John 14, 26, he says, by the comfort I put in the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. When what is revealed to you, <clears throat> he will show you. Also, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, 29 says, the secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of the law. Those things that are revealed to you. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. 1 Corinthians 13, 2. From the New Living Translation, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 12 says, Now we see things imperfectly, like puzzling reflection in a mirror. But then we will see everything with perfect clarity. All that I know now is partial and incomplete. But then I will know everything completely, just as God knows. Other limitations, you are not immutable. Immutability means unchanging character. And only, only God has that unchanging character. And the Bible says in the book of Malachi 36, says, I am the Lord, I do not change. The Lord is not like a man, he does not change. You change. Praise the name of the Lord. We are talking about the limit, you know, the full potential God gave us to explore. Explore. And also, you cannot, you are limited by how big, unless you overeat, that one is swelling. How tall you can grow and stay healthy. Yeah? You can, all, you're also limited by how long you can live on earth. Some terminate their earth before the appropriate time, but it's limited to how long you can remain on earth. The book of Psalm 90, verse 10, the A part of it, Psalm 90, verse 10, A part says, 
The days of our years are three score years and twenty. I'll stop there. If you go to Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 8, the A part of it. Ecclesiastes. There is no man that had power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither had he power in the day of death. When the day of death comes, I, unless Jesus comes by before this time, rapture, you rapture. Praise the name of the Lord. So the list can go on and on and on. But today we are laying emphasis on our God giving capacity within, within the limits. Capacity as a child of God stretching to every potential you have within the limits. Even though you are limited in one place at a time, but God, God has given you the technology enabling you to multiply yourself. These days we have Zoom. Don't we? Eh? Yes, that's what we're talking about. Limit pushers. Shifting boundaries. These days, you can send what they call drones on messages. You say here, it goes and come on man done drones breaking limitation. They're limited physical presence, but you can do other things. Video discussions, video conferences, company visit. Even I just realized, maybe it's late, but when you wake up, that's when you, when you, you can use those videos, those Zooms to do prayer between your family members. The families are scattered all over the world. Between your family members, those in England, those in France, those in Australia, in Japan, you agree, you have a need. Are you with me? Huh? Yes. Let us pray for this. You check their various time zones and fix a time. And at that time, everybody is plugged in. And you begin to pray. Push. Pray. You're breaking limits. Aeroplane was designed by young men. The Wright brothers. Who decided to break the barrier of walking. In those days, Dr. Namdazikwe, I will over them. They went to overseas using the uh, sheep that lasted for years. But these young men, when they said, nobody can fly. If anybody can fly, they should have wings. They keep thinking. And they designed the airplane. From here to London is maximum of six hours. America is around 10 or 14, depending on where you're taking off from. Speed. I will enable you to do things. You multiply yourself. We are talking about breaking the limits within your God-given capacity. Many of us are falling short of that. Praise the name of the Lord. I can't hear you. Praise the name of the Lord. Many children of God are living limited lives. That's what we want to break. They're not living to the fullest of their potential. Well, no matter where you are now, your future, your potential is still brighter. That's why the Bible says the righteous walks through a path that gets brighter and brighter. We are encouraging you, propping you to stretch your mind. Push boundaries. Conquer limitations. Where are you today? Or where you are today? Cannot be where you will be, be next year. I don't want you to be afraid of failure. I keep on saying that. Failure should be a friend to you. Those that have succeeded fail more than you that is crossing your leg and waiting for the right time in court. There's no right time. The right time is now. Don't be afraid of failure. Rather be afraid of staying in the same place you are now in the next one year. That's the greatest fear. Are you with me? Before you can do that, you must be a limit breaker. You must break. You must push. You must break boundaries in so many areas of your life. And that's the series we are teaching this, this period for us to begin to look at our life, self-examine our lives, and learn to push. And it's the Holy Spirit that 
is the ultimate limit breaker. And these teachings, I'm breaking it down into various, limit, various topics. Today I'm going to teach limitations created by speech. What you had, what you said, what they said to you, how you allowed it. Number two, limitations created by sight, what you saw, what you are looking at, your focus. Number three, limitations created by what you are thinking, your thinking process bounds you, keeps you in a place. I'm going to talk about for the quality, the quality of a limit breaker. And then tools for cheering limits. Prayer tools, praise tools, anointing, word of God, confidence, the list can go on and on and on and on and on. So we can so that we will break, we will break barriers. Praise the name of the Lord. But remember in all this, the Holy Spirit is the ultimate limit breaker. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 26 says, in the same way the Spirit helps us in our infirmity. The Holy Spirit helps you in our infirmities, in our weaknesses. Remember that? Remember also in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ who threatens me. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26 B. Matthew 19, 26 B. B say, with all things, with God, all things are possible. And many, many of you will remain there. It doesn't concern me. I'm not God now. I can't do anything. I can't do. Within the limits of what God lacks to God, God asks you to expand. He doesn't, I'm not God. No. Read the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 23b. Mark 9, 23b says, All things are possible to him that believes. Matthew 19 says, With God, all things are possible. Matthew, Mark 9 says, All things are believe, possible, to them, possible to them that believe. So what that tells me is that man is limited. But man with the help of God is unlimited. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Holy Spirit will help you when you are confused. The Holy Spirit will help you when you need healing. He will help you to give you wisdom to make decisions. The list can go on and on and on and on and on. That's a series I normally teach in my coaching programs. If you want, that was a different matter. I have a model that can pull people from uncertainty to life of impact. And I call it how to be the best of yourself. Because many of us are telling yourself, I'm not good enough. You're here now. I'm not good enough. Can you do this? Can you sing? I'm not good enough. Write book, I'm not good enough. Businesses, I'm not good enough. When you say it's money, you're not good enough. And at that point in time, you are at a point... The level, I call level of uncertainty, the first level. Everybody goes through that. The level of uncertainty, you're full of fear. No self-image, suspicion, feeling inadequate. You don't like the boldness. You are envious of the others who are doing well because you cannot stretch your... Move, move, move from where you are. You are reluctant to speak in public. You focus on negative things. You have regrets. You don't have a sustained focus. That's what occupies your mind in this level of uncertainty. But we will move you to the next level, level of self-discovery. Begin to discover yourself. There are a lot of things God has put on. Success is within. And you move to that level, from that level to level of skillfulness. When you understand yourself, then what can you train yourself? And when you train yourself, level of competence, you become competent. And then reinvention, you reinvent yourself. And when you've done that, you begin to impact. That's the last step. Begin to impact. Begin to live a life of influence. Leadership is a process of influence. And by when we go through this thing, I expect you to begin to be a limit breaker. Say after me, say, I am, with the help of the Holy Spirit, a limit breaker. Yes. Limitation created by speech. I'll tell you a story. I've mentioned a bit of it in this church. It happened to my life before God delivered me. As a young person, when I was young, I had a speech challenge, stammering. To stammer, to 
stammering. <clears throat> My mother was particular about that and was protective. And we always tell people, tell, leave him alone. George can't defend himself. Protect him because he will cry. <laughs> Start crying. If you're here, I'm challenging you. You must break us from that speech limitation in Jesus' name. In my school, primary school, I went to a local government primary school. From time to time, I think once a week or something, we have what we call physical education recess, PE recess, where you, they allow you to go to the field and children will play. And teachers were supposed to you know, supervise us. On this fateful day, there was no teacher. You know, teachers, they, just, they left us alone. I was in a particular group, but that point in time, I was not playing with them. I was just just with my friend, away from them. And this group, what we do is that when we, something I can't remember now, but if, if, if you fell victim of it, they will carry you. No. Carry, and they dump you in one place, and they run back to do that game again. This particular boy had a heart issue. We didn't know. They didn't know because I was watching. They carried the boy, put the boy somewhere, and they moved in excitement. And when they turned back, the boy was foaming. <laughs> foaming. They ran back. The boy was foaming. They called the teachers. They were fretting because they left us there. They took the boy to the hospital. I think either he died on the way or getting there. Ah, oh, they had a meeting. An assembly. The principal, the teacher said, how many of you were in that group? I'm a sincere young man. I said, yes. They gathered all of us. They said, you go to police to give statements. Minus. When they were going, the headmaster teacher said, ha, George is among them all. He can't defend himself. Or he will cry. He can even put you in trouble. But along the line, we get a statement I didn't give. What did I? I was watching them. So the case was in court with serious case, but uh, they left us. We are minors. It's not intentional. The people that it was the teachers that had to regulate of the law as their business. So I carried that in mind because somebody spoke to me, a tender to protect me. So watch what you tell your people and watch what they will tell you. Does this agree with your life destiny? I took that meaning to mean that I can't protect myself. I entered the, the secondary school. I met another set of people again. My class, my middle friends. They started taunting me. <laughs> One year, I was frustrated. I was uncomfortable. And because they have put that in my mind, you cannot defend yourself. I couldn't defend myself. Watch. Are you with me this morning? The all may not be switched. Your own may be stepping out to do something. Your own may be marriage. Your own may be whatever. Your own may be ability to take things, internalize it, and act out. Your, 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 your own may be speaking out properly. Because they say a closed mouth is a closed listen. My senior sister, who is a tigress, heard about it, came, fought through. And I followed her. And I got my deliverance. And shortly after that, I changed school to another school where I believed I wanted to go because most of my colleagues who were moving towards my direction were there. Shyness is a learned behavior. Are you with me? What people have spoken to you can be the limit, but you have to be a limit breaker as we go on in Jesus' name. And that story is the story of Jabez. 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 First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 from Amplified Bible. Jabez was more honorable above his brothers. That's not the end of the story, is it? But his mother named him Jabez Soromeka. Wonderful, dangerous name. Everywhere I go, I bring sorrow. Everywhere I go, I introduce sorrow. Everywhere I go, I make sorrow. Somebody has placed a speech limit on him. Saying, because I bore him with pain. He has a reason. You see, we give names to people based on certain circumstances and we think we are helping. 
The mother will sit you down and tell you stories of unfavorable things that happened because around you and because of that you were given a name and you are you, you're, you're looking like a, a, petty, a, a loved child and you but the Bible says Jabez prayed Jabez prayed a prayer oh that you will bless me and expand my territory please be with me in all that I do keep me from all trouble and pain and God granted it. Jabez rebelled. Jabez became a limit breaker. He prayed and said, Lord, deliver me. Lord, this name, I cannot bear this name. Lord, it is not possible. I cannot. Am I talking to you? Yes, huh? Check areas of your life. There's so many areas. He said, deliver me. Jabez prayed. There may be something that occurs in you. Somebody say, I know, every time this year, didn't Bamont, I don't Bamont, doesn't favor me. Mm -hmm. Doesn't Bamont, when they created them Bamont, did they put your name? Because you have acquired this knowledge from internet, from relations, from mothers and fathers, Mba, 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 is a evil month. Don't know where they say people cannot prosper in Mbamont. And you have acquired it, you have added it to your sorrow, and you are nursing it. And you forget what God has spoken concerning you, concerning your life. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. So you have to be careful. If you are going to be a limit breaker, you have to check those things, take time in your quiet, pick all those things and begin to break them. I'm going to show you how you can break them as we go along in this series. There are also a story of a man who got married Quarrel in the marriage, quarrel. The husband, the wife will say, You're a foolish man. Please know how you talk to people. No good for nothing is to harass me here every night. You, you, what can you do? Nothing. You are good for nothing. This man was so bounded with these words that one day he staggered into his bedroom. He saw the wedding pictures placed beside the man, beside the, you know, you know women, beside the mirror. He looked at it and said, Talking to himself. I think she is correct. I think she's right. She's right. I'm not good. This marriage, I must walk away. She walked away from that marriage. She walked away from that marriage. The list can go on and on and on. Issues. Praise the name of the Lord. Issues. Could we have to be careful? Also, in the prison, I've read it somewhere, where they gather young people who have committed crime, periodically, according to their routines, they will gather them and they do exercise and physical education. This particular day, the woman who's in charge was walking around them and expecting them. And after that, I told them something, asked them a question. So how many of you here, when you were growing up, maybe you were too active, and they gather and say, you, 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 Chukuka. If you're Chukuka, sorry. You, you, Chukuka. The way you're going, one day you end up in prison. All of them raise up their hand. Speech limitation. I want you today to begin to ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes and you, because the Holy Spirit is the ultimate limit breaker. And also follow me till we end this series and make a resolve. I'm going to break through. Is that clear? Sir. These days, coronavirus is becoming, fear is becoming, they give you excuses now, you know, it's pandemic. My friend, Nigeria is blessed. Hmm? Shake off and go back to your vision. Take protective measures and begin to do what you plan to do. The thing don't they go. Amen? amen. I say amen. amen. Yes. My time is up. I will leave you with this. Don't allow anything God didn't put in your destiny. Don't allow any word that is contrary to what God has put inside of you. Don't allow because the Bible says in the book of Hebrew, he framed the word by the word of his mouth. Everything created was created through spoken words. And therefore, they will obey spoken words. 
So make sure those spoken words don't affect you. Lord, we thank you today. Let us pray. I'll stop here today. What has been spoken to motivate you to go back and begin to think of what you can do? Say, Father, help me to break every limit in my life. Today, especially, those limitations created by speeches, created by what I said or what I had on what was said to me, on what I said, help me. Give me the power. They never went to break through. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lobo shaka tanda lama kaya labo. Soto ramaka sakaya laba. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you, God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is Thanksgiving time. Kindly be on your feet. It's time for Thanksgiving. We want you to package your offering. If you are writing a check or you are making a transfer, the account number is there on the screen. You are watching online. The account number is there on the screen. So you transfer the description. If it is offering, you write offering. If it is Thanksgiving, if it is tight, you write tight. Kindly be on your feet. As we take our thanksgiving offering. Jehovah is the Lord. Jehovah is the Lord. From everlasting to everlasting. Jehovah is the Lord. Jehovah Rapha.
accept this thanksgiving offering in the name of Jesus. Bless every one of us. Bless the source of this offering. May it not run dry in the name of Jesus. For the tight mighty God we pray. Lord, that you bless the remaining 90% in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 You are welcome to Thanksgiving of September. Amen. It's getting better by the day. It's opening up gradually. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, the, if you are seated in this service and today is your first time of worshiping with us, can you just... Wave your hand. You are worshiping with us for the first time. We want to welcome you. You are worshiping. Okay. Praise God. Amen. Now, please listen to the following announcement. Uh, our live services continue. Um, every Sunday, we have two services. The first service is 9.30 a.m. And um, the second service is 11 a.m., which is the current service we are in. We also encourage you to always join our Sunday school. It starts 8 to 8.45. So we encourage you to be part of Sunday school. You can, the Sunday school is online um, through our different uh, WhatsApp uh, 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 platforms. So we encourage you to be part of Sunday school. By 8.45, it's over. Then you can now join the first service if you plan to attend first service or second service. Praise God. It's very interactive and we encourage you to be part of it. Midweek service. Uh, continues. We have um, Digging Deep on Tuesdays via YouTube, time 6 to 6.30. On Thursday is Zoom, a Faith Clinic, the same time 6 to 6.30. But Monday, Wednesday, um, um, Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Friday, Saturday, we meet 7 to 7.20, just 20 minutes of prayer time. If you are here and you don't get um, our messages, either on WhatsApp or Facebook, kindly just uh, wave so that we can take your WhatsApp number. If you are here and you don't get it, okay. Osha, please help, help us. We have someone here. Please just raise your hands up. Yes, let's get your WhatsApp number so that you get the messages. And we encourage everybody in line with the government guideline to um, register. Um, register. Register, register. Once you register online using this link, um, the one you register for this week is just gone. So, yeah, well, the register last week against today's Sunday is gone. Please, so for each week, you have to register afresh. Praise God. You have to register afresh so that uh, we can keep the records. It's very, very key. Teens Church meets 12 noon. Um, so the time for children's church is four, but teens church is 12. So please, let's correct that. So if you, are, uh, you have a teen in the house, they meet uh, online by 12 o'clock, while the children's church meet four o'clock. Praise God. Kindly. Yeah, I think. Uh, yes. Your. Yeah, the testimony <clears throat> because next Sunday, next Thanksgiving we'll take it the testimonies, but it will be a written testimony so that we can read it and then flow. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. And also those that are special born on different months. Yes. We we'll also we will make you rise up and we we'll pray for you. So subsequently we we'll begin to do that. Amen. Amen. And next Sunday, bless you. Next Thanksgiving. Okay. Kindly be on your feet, Sam. So I want to one, kindly be on your feet as we close. I want you to personalize that psalm as we close. In closing, I want you to personalize that psalm. That's a, we'll go from 1 to verse 8. 1 to go. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. I'm not hearing you. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from where comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow my foot to be moved. He who keeps me will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps me shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade at my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. 
The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you. As we go, go with us. As we go into this new week, mighty God, preserve us, Lord. We will not run into trouble in this week in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the grace to break every limit of life or the limit that has been put on us, every limit of background in the name of Jesus. In this week, mighty God, it shall end in testimony to the glory of your name. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And we share the grace to our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, as we follow from the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.